yeah, just got a couple of McPlants here. We're gonna to go to the next place, uh, Burger King, or whichever one's closest. Let's go. We're gonna go get their vegan option. Let's go. Got it. We're at Murder King. We're gonna go get the non-murder option. They didn't have meatballs. All right, so we just went to all of the fast food places and got a few of the vegan options that are available. And we're gonna do a little taste test comparison. I've already tasted all of these before, but I'm gonna do a taste test on camera so you know what to get. If all you have is fast food places around, or if you're out with your friends and you, you care about animals and your friends will go into Macca's or something and you wanna get an option, they got something. So let's have a look. First of all, the biggest chicken killers on earth, but they got a vegan burger made of corn. Have a look at it. Presentation is as you would expect from fast food chain. Got some vegan mayo in there. All right. The bun is soft. It's got like a nice flour sesame seed bun. It's nice. It's like a, a dryish pretend chicken breast. That's how I describe it. The spices are what does it, really. You can't mimic that spice. I've never had it anywhere else other than KFC. It's savory. It's very quintessential, unique to KFC. Do I have mayo on my face? The mayo is creamy. It's delightful. Mm. Mm. And if you're near KFC and you're drunk and there's nothing else, then grab it. When they replace the patty, they don't replace it from a chicken factory farm and a slaughterhouse. They replace it from corns, vegan fillet. So there you go, it's good. How much are these? We'll put a price thing up there. Like, whatever. They're cheap. All right, now we're moving on to, all right, so we got Murder King here, but we got their murder free options. So we got the vegan burger. I have this quite often, actually. It's a, uh, it's, it's a winner, look at it. Look at it, is that the, that better be the vegan option. Just let me rip it open. And it's definitely the vegan option. Whoever their food scientists are, it's crazy, scary, realistic. All right. It's similar to the KFC chicken burger, really. They've got the mayo, the vegan mayo, lettuce, bun, but the patty is more, KFC has the spices. The flavor is much better. This, they focused on making a um, chickeny flavor, like that, that chickeny flavor. That's why it's so scary. And they also have the nugs. Now I'm just gonna break it open just to make sure because I don't wanna eat little dead birds. Now we're gonna try that. I've had these a hundred times. Mm. They taste like a normal McDonald's-y kind of bland chicken nugget. They're, they're a winner. You know? If you get some sweet chili from there, dip them in, they're good. Also, at Murder King, they got the um, plant-based Whopper. I don't eat it because they cook it on the same grill. It's got cross-contamination, but you're not supporting the cruelty killing of animals. It's just the ick factor that I don't, I don't want any blood, any cooked meat, flesh of animals on my food. But some people don't care. If you don't care, then eat it. Go for it. Subway. One of the saddest things happened when I walked into Subway, and I don't know if this is just in London, but uh, they don't have the meatless meatball subway there anymore, which was our favorite and we get it all the time. But I think we can get it from like other, other subways in different areas, but not in London for some reason. Must be some type of conspiracy theory going down. But here, got toasted um, plant patty. The sauce in here is the vegan aioli. You know those crappy veggie patties that you get that are just like dough and peas? It's not like that. It's like meaty. Soy patty. It's pretty good, but it's spicy. Anyway, I'm gonna eat it together. Mm. The vegan oil is a winner. It's good, if you like that. They got the TLC in there too. TLC, 
It's like vegan chicken breast. Let me grab it out so you can see. It's like lean soya chickeny stuff. Super high protein, super low fat. Huh. It's so good. I'd, I'd get extra if I was you ask for double, but I've got sriracha in here. They got sriracha sauce. Subway also have crinkle cut wedges, which are vegan. If you can get their meatless meatballs, get them because it's the best thing they ever put on. Also, Subway have vegan cookies. Soft, sugary, extremely unhealthy, but they taste kind of like drugs. Like you get a real strong satisfaction from eating them. All right, now, McDonald's, I've saved one of the best for last, I think. The McPlant. Vegan approved. Look at that. Look at it. Look at that sloppy. They've got the vegan cheese in there and a Beyond patty. Beyond meat is the, the best tasting vegan uh, meat you can get. If you're a meat eater and you want to be a vegan, Beyond Meat. It's crazy good that McDonald's have put this on at every single McDonald's in the UK. How good that is for the animals. Let me just have a little bite. Mm. Wow. It basically tastes like a Beyond Burger with a McDonald's-y taste. The vegan cheese, they nailed it. The vegan mayo, they nailed it. The burger, they nailed it. This is really good for people who want to be vegan and they can't find a vegan option. And guess what? McDonald's have restaurants all over the UK. If McDonald's put on a vegan burger, it's a win-win for convenience. It's cheap. It's like three quid or something for one of these, four quid or something. It's really cheap, affordable, um, and extremely tasty. I get it, some people don't want to go into these uh, restaurants. I don't think it's immoral to buy a vegan option from these restaurants, just like it's not immoral to buy a vegan option from anywhere, Tesco's or buy soy milk from Tesco's, they sell meat there too. These options exist and people can stay vegan really easy. So, seeing as this is a comparison, it's a toss up between the McPlant and uh, the, the, the meatless meatball sub for me, but I'm gonna have to say the McPlant wins. On taste, on convenience, because McDonald's have put it on on every single, in every single restaurant. I, I'm just gonna have to say that Although McDonald's is not the, the best company in the world, it's great that they got this vegan option there and it's the best tasting and it's uh, it's the winner for me. But they're all pretty good. They're all pretty good. So yeah, that's been my uh, episode of comparing crappy fast food but vegan versions.